Breaking news 2023. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu has gone to the palace of the Oni of Ife to make consultations. And um, when he went, when he got there, you know, Oni uh, is a fairly, I mean, it's a young man. And um, part of the things himself and Tinubu were discussing was the age matter and how Nigerians were taking this issue. And guess what? Our very own Tinubu told Oni of Ife, don't worry. Okay, I can say it in Yoruba, but it will not be you. you, you those of you that understand it will laugh. Say, don't worry, I am fit to be president. Don't worry. That was what, that's the reply he gave to the Oni of Ife. Say, don't worry. Remember, the Oni of Ife has already also uh, given words for uh, Ashiwa, uh, for uh, Osibanjo. Don't forget. Uh -huh. Osibanjo, you know, went to visit him at some point and he said we need young leaders like this do you understand so we don't want to call it conflict of interest but we leave you to do the math you get me now uh -huh. so uh shiwajo mebola tinubu consultations are still very much on and he has gone to see the oni of ife and part of what he said was the, when oni brought up the issue of age because you have to be realistic if you are not being sentimental he said, I am fit to rule Nigeria. Don't worry. Don't let that uh, be a deterrent. Just continue with what you are doing. Let's get all the details. 2023, I am fit to rule Nigerians. Tinubu tells Oni of Ife. The Oni of Ife has been visited by the presidential aspirant on the platform of the All Progressive Congress, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, yesterday. He said he's capable and fit to pilot the affairs of the country to the greatest height ever to have imagined, if allowed to rule in 2023. Speaking during the visit to the Palace of the Union of Ife in Oshun State, he said Nigeria is endowed with both human and natural resources, adding that the country only needs the right persons to handle its potentials and its potentials for greatness and bring it out. Hmm. Tinubu, Tinubu, to bring it out. So Buhari is not bringing it out. Let's continue. Tinubu said Nigeria has a great resource base, both human and material, but we need a hardness and the real right persons in position for these valuables to be converted to what we need. It is to become if it is to be, if it is to become valuable and move the country to the proximity of prosperity that we all desire our nation is endowed with i promise i will push myself forward i will move it to the potential of prosperity that all nigerians desire the former lagos state governor said youths have the right to political leadership too but we'll have to work for it by developing strong character and leadership traits. He said, we are not saying it is not the turn of the youth. No, I said something, why in Ibadan? And he turned it the other way. We will, we will have precedent that are youth, but they have to work hard, but they have to work for it. We, they have to demonstrate the quality and character intelligence to govern people and people management. On his visit to the monarch, the APC national leader said their support to President Muhammad Buhari has been what has been propelling them. Saying after supporting President Muhammad Buhari since 2013 for the seat, he, Tinubu, is now ready to step into the same shoes. He said, we went around the country in 2013 to campaign for Buhari again in 2019. We stood with him and he won. We will soon finish, he will soon finish his tenure. I am sure they should not just leave the post. They should hand it over to me. I cannot demand it alone. I must seek your assistance. If monarchs of the region unite and ask for it, we ask for the presidency gently, we will get it and it will be handed over to us. I am ready to take over. I am competent, capable, fit to pilot the affairs of the country to greatness. Responding, the union of Ife said, he described Tinubu as a special breed whose 
specialties are in identifying and nurturing talent to unravel them. He has been a kingmaker, he emphasized. Oniwai praying for the success of his ambition, invoke the spirit of the forefathers to lead the battle to guarantee of success. So that's what Oni did. Oni prayed. Pray, not be smarting, and he can't call the forefathers. Hey, yes, your son, no. Tinubu, Tinubu has come, oh, he wants to be president, to oh. spirit, you know, he prayed. I, I'm just making fun of it, but I mean, it's a serious issue. So, I mean, the only prayed for him and um, assured him that, you know, with the prayers being said, his desire will be materialized uh, and consultations are still on. So, but on this note, Tinubu was very careful. What I mean by that is, you know, instead of just speaking from his heart like he did the last time and was able to, we were able to discover that in his heart of heart, so youth will rule, but after him, he rather read from a script already cons constituted, I mean, already written out, okay, so that there's no mistake to say uh, he has said A or B. So he made mention that he supported Buhari and Osibanjo. They are there, they will leave. So that word enough is enough strong indication to Osibanju, don't contest. You have been the vice president. Allow me, it's my turn. So honestly speaking, if you analyze what is going on already, some quarters are already calling Osibanju a betrayer. Are we saying Osibanju is the best candidate? Not, not exactly. That's not what we are saying. But what we are saying is that word already saying to Osibanju, you know, if you remember the whole antecedent that brought Osibanjo to become Nigerian's president, Osibanjo actually had a case. In fact, he was in Abuja having a case about to go on for his client when he got a call from Tinubu. Remember that they both served together in the same administration. Yeah, Osibanjo was Tinubu's, um, uh, 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 what's it called now? Attorney General for eight years, from 1999 to 2007. Yes. So called uh, Osibanjo, where are you? Say, well, I'm about to go into the court. We have a case. My client is okay. You, can you come to so and so place? Blah, 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 blah. Now, just nominate, nominated you to become the vice uh, president, running mate to President Muhammad Buhari. And Musibanjo had to leave everything. And today is the vice president whose tenure will be ending. So, that being said, I can say, I, I don't know, things could change. But if we're to go by that, Musibanjo may not declare for presidency. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.